Welcome back to the Watchpoint Post Show. Now, if you go to overwatchleague.com, you may notice that our buddy Reinforce has been publishing his power rankings each week. So we figured we could have him on to join us at the desk for a little preview of next week. Welcome to the show, Johnny. Thank you for having me. It's good to be here. Good to be here. All right. Well, uh, before we get into next week's rankings, let's talk about last week's rankings uh, going into week two. Uh, tell me, man, we saw the shock at your number one spot coming into this week. But I'm curious, after the loss to Houston, what's going to happen to the shock in your week three rankings? Well, they didn't really have that much leverage to play with. I mean, the beat of Vancouver Titans in the stage two playoffs. Why are you laughing so <laughs> You're like losing it. Stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the San Francisco Shop, they are on top because they were winning the Stage 2 playoffs. Of course, they beat the Vancouver Titans. They have that leverage. But so far, I haven't been that impressed by the San Francisco Shock. Of course, they struggle versus Atlanta. So I'm afraid to say that Vancouver Titans have reclaimed the number one spot in my power rankings next week because of their consistent performances. Oh, they did yeah. struggle with Sue and Sue on the Sombra for a bit. Yeah. But I don't think they need the Sombra necessarily. I, I, I just think they can stick to the Saria Goats, and I think they'll be perfectly fine, similar with the bunker composition in Stage 2. So Vancouver has nothing to worry right. about in this meta, and I think they're consistently number one. I can pay devil's advocate to that right okay. now. <laughs> we just watched them dominate the San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, we just watched them well, dominate. Oh. Oh. We did. What, San Francisco? Yeah. yeah. But they struggle versus Atlanta. Yeah, but that and was, they that lost was a to while Houston. ago. Yeah, but New York Last did too. Last week. That was a while ago, Last bro. Last week. Like they've, I Super feel like they've, wild. this was, okay, so what, what would you say is the hardest game this stage they're going to play? Was it this one here today? Well, San Francisco Shock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty rough game. Versus right, that's so that's going to be the dip, most difficult team that they're going to be up against, right? Yeah, but you can't struggle versus Atlanta in map five and then lose to the Houston Outlaws. It's in the past but now, when baby. When you rank New York, in the past now. they lose against the Do you understand how power rankings work? Yeah. You take week previous to week basis, results you into account. The, yeah, you take the previous results into account. And you're moving them after this week down a slot. After that dominant Yeah, so they're down and Vancouver is number one. I'm sure they're heartbroken they're yeah. number two. <laughs> right. Wow. This yeah. is one spot. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to facilitate some is conversation. Is this the best you had to offer <laughs> without Sideshow? Well, look, 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 look. You know, Coca-Cola, shout out to them. Official sponsor of the Open Guys, right. one of our favorite things about your rankings reinforce is the fact that people go up and they go down. I like the fact that people are sliding and yeah. whatnot. So who do you have climbing the most in week three? Do you want to take a guess, Brian? Yeah, Houston Outlaws, baby. It's the Houston Outlaws. They Let's climbed go. 11 goals. Please don't leave me hanging. Leave hanging. Please don't leave me hanging, baby. Man. Please. <laughs> when people were telling me E3 is not alive, they are godlike. They moved 11 spots as so, well. Why? Can we actually talk about Overwatch? Yes, let's do yes. it. Tell me. So the Houston Outlaws, of course, they have to be climbing because they have been playing so well with the Sombra. They did go to map 5 versus New York Excelsior in uh -huh. week 1, and then they did beat the San Francisco Shock and just stomped the Boston Uprising. So and even though they went winless in stage 2, uh -huh. they do warrant climbing. And I think number 9 is a good yeah, spot I agree. because I've seen a lot of the mid table teams, they just haven't been adapting well to the Sombra, and Houston using the Sombra the best right. way I think it's a big picture there. thing as well, because if they just beat San Francisco, you can call that a fluke of San Francisco choking and not taking it seriously. But the way sure. they performed against New York and that he's at the, the dominance they've had through the rest of the week, I, I completely agree with that. But if they'd just beaten San Francisco, I'd be like, I don't know, San Francisco could have just not cared that sure. day. But it's, I, been a, it's been a big picture. I also wanted to put it out there that I do accept the fact that you struggle versus cheese. San Francisco shocked they were obviously not prepared to play versus the Sombra. Yeah. So right. sh sure, you Wait, you're calling game. Sombra cheese strat now? Well, some teams, are, some teams are lactose intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's All been right. the consensus pretty much that Sombra is cheese. But on the other side of that, who is the team that fell the most uh, in your rankings for week three? Oh, boy. It's, it's a rough one. Yeah. Uh, Dallas Fuel have been dropping out of the top 10 Ooh. for the first time in a very long while. Wow. And I think this has been coming for a bit. I expected them to be a top team. Now, Sideshow predicted them as the fourth best team in the league a while back. Yeah, I did not agree with that, but I saw the potential, right? OG, he is a future superstar, without a doubt. But they just have been struggling to maintain consistency, and they just haven't performed up to par, in my opinion. So I you lose to the Chengdu Hunters. I would have put them lower. I actually had Chengdu beating them when no one else did. Like, I just, I don't believe in Dallas right now at all. Sure, yeah, I totally agree with that. But when I looked at those teams adjacent to them, I thought to myself that Dallas is the favorite. They, they yeah. might lose, but in my mind, they are still the favorite over a lot of these teams like Paris, Toronto, etc. And so I had to put him there because I yeah. felt like, sure, you lose to Chengdu, but it was a bit of an upset. I don't know about Paris and Toronto. I still put them below them right now. 
Really? Yeah. You put Dallas below the Paris. I do not like how well, Dallas is playing their at home home right now. And all. as we saw in Brent's rankings yesterday, you're right to be wrong. Well, 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 <laughs> well, well Hex, well, what are the standout flaws for you for Dallas fuel? I'm curious to know. I just, I, it's hard to really even pinpoint one. I think they made the trade for note thinking that the, he was, the Diva was going to be the yeah. rock hard meta, and I think they would rather have a better Sombra player back. Yeah. I think that's hands down the worst trade in our Warsley history. I, it looked great at the time. What? It what? Looked great oh, it at is. the time. Yeah, it didn't the time work out for either team. And now <laughs> the they just want them back. The worst trade in the history. But, well, okay, which one would you many. say was worse? There hasn't been many. What? What? what would it Time's be? up. Gladi uh, <laughs> Gladiator yeah. trading away Fisher. Kareem for Corey. The, the trade that never happened, maybe. Trading but, away Fisher. Trading away Fisher. Well, he, that didn't, he didn't even. Fisher's a bench player. Is not. He wasn't even playing. Bro, I count with this death. Let's, let's move it on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Holy I, I got to say, uh, Johnny, uh, you brought some hot, some hotness to the death, some spice. So thank you very much for joining us.